Hello and welcome to the Blasting Boneholes as we continue to play this game. Ah. Uh -huh. Alright, so did we do anything off camera this time? Uh, just a little bit. Um, this side of the steam engines is done and running. We also set up some pump jacks over here to the left to get ready for oil production. I think that was it. God, I love oil production in this game. Yeah. It's honest to God, my favorite thing. I like just running fluids through pipes. It is fun. Now, now before anyone says anything, I know, I know the water setup is wrong. But for some reason, I had an extra offshore pump in there. And so we're just going to maximize the amount of water going through there. I mean, I can piss people off even more. I have two extra in my inventory. <laughs> I can just put them right here and not hook them up to anything. Oh my god. <laughs> That's pissing me off. <laughs> I'm just going to leave them there. Holy shit, man. Alright, so I'm going to start with a factory that makes oil barrels. Because I don't want all of our oil production to be... Well, I don't want everything to do with oil and chemical plants right here, away from the factory. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to begin... Shit, we have to run more iron. But look, conveniently, there's a patch of iron right here. There is. Whoa! Man. Let's see. What does it need? just needs steel plates, so we're going to have to have two banks of furnaces for that right there. To make uh, steel barrels. And then we're going to have to probably manually run them back and forth, the empty barrels. So, do you want to have a barrel reclamation line that runs them back up here? After we have a sufficient number in the system? Yeah. Yeah, we need to do that. Okay. Pipe, I swear. You go through more of it than any other resource. Of course, the pipe's not a resource, but... You know what I'm saying. I don't know, do I? I hope so. How is everything going down here? Fast and sort of production. We've got quite a few. Yeah, you can probably put a stop to that. Honestly. Okay, I've made it impossible to get to... Okay. All pipes. I'll all just pipes. remove the, uh... I'll just remove that one server. I should get rid of it. I think. I should eventually stop it, right? Should. Hopefully. Well, once again, it's rid of these two things. That'll stop eventually. Okay, well. The only thing that's happening right now is this. So I'm going to monitor what's going on. You're gonna monitor For the sake of something happening on the video, let's watch. The oil setup. Alright, well, that's all the oil setup that's getting set up right now. Alright. We gotta produce some iron. Yeah, actually, we do. We have to produce steel, actually, which is much harder. Now, conveniently, we do have all this power right here. Mm hmm It's very convenient. I accidentally made a big electric pole, so I'm just going to plunk that right there. <laughs> well, that can branch out to other areas when we need it. Yes, it can. All 
Alright, so we've got that. Do you want to run a belt up from right here to get some coal? Yeah, I, can I do actually that. need some stone brick and some steel. I'll run a. Ain't it great how our stone brick and our steel are on literal opposites of our base? I'm just always short on iron. I can't craft anything. Oh, it actually looks like we're starting to get jam up on iron down here. I think it's because we're not producing something. No, we're producing everything. Or are we? Here's what I'll do with this. I just grabbed some iron ore off the line. I'm just going to get iron plates the old fashioned way. Okay, I see what you did. I see how you stopped that production line. I was really fucking confused there for a minute. Yeah, I just removed the inserter from the copper. And it should stop eventually. It did. I knew you stopped it, but I had no idea how, and I was very confused. Alright, so Louie, I, I have been thinking up an invention. Alright. Uh, what it is? For in-game or IRL. real life? IRL. Okay. What it does... All right, is it's something that you sew into your underwear. All right, you sew it into your underwear. Mm -hmm. And what it does is it automatically takes pictures of your dick. All right, and it just Bluetooths it right to your phone. So it's like an automatic dick pic taker? It is. It's an automatic dick pic taker. I'm just trying to think of. I'm just trying to think of why. Um, why? Why? Well, how not? like how often, or do you set the interval? Uh, you see, it's not a set interval. What it does is it's actually, it actually responds like direct messages you get over social media. With it. Okay. Or just you can so give me an example of like a message on social media that will trigger this thing to fire off. All right, all right. So it has a complex code, all right. It has complex coding. Okay. <laughs> all right. I mean, I'd assume so. It has complex coding. So let's say you get a DM on Twitter. It's from a girl, and she, and you know she's a hoe. What the algorithm actually does is it reads the message she sends you. All right. All right. And sends a message she sends you. It reads it reads everything that she's ever tweeted. Wow, there might be some some privacy uh, issues with this. No, 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 because it's assuming that you follow her on Twitter. Or she follows you. Alright. So it's it's one it's one hundred percent okay. It's one hundred percent okay. <laughs> so it's it's okay. It's one hundred percent okay. That's fine. <laughs> okay, so it reads all of that, and then it tells you it decides whether or not this girl is a hoe. All right. The uh, the the, the device detector. does. Yes. So it's like a, it's like it's like some sort of hoe detector. It is. Yes. It's a hoe detector. Man, you, that could be a completely different invention, and that would that'd do pretty well. Yeah, probably. But this is better. It automatically takes dick pics. Yeah. All right, and so you automatically get the dick pics taken. Hmm. I mean, that in itself is pretty. It's pretty impressive. Yeah. All right, so the dick pigs are being taken.
and then it automatically sends it either to your phone to send out over Twitter, or it automatically sends it via Twitter in a DM to this girl that you want to see your junk. Hmm. How does that sound for an invention? Uh, would you purchase this invention? Well, me, uh, no, because I don't, I don't take dick pics. You but, see, uh, you see, you're missing out. I imagine for someone who does, that's quite the useful device. It is. Oh, that's what you meant. Okay. Yeah. Did you start running an entirely separate? Yeah, yeah. I just split it right here. <laughs> All right. That, that's 100% okay. Shit, now I'm out of iron. Oh, wait, conveniently, there's some being made right here. Whoa. So would you use this device? Would I use it? Yeah. I mean, you can bet your ass I would. Is there going to be a female version for this? Uh, yes, you sew it inside of your bra. Okay. And there's also go it's also going to have uh, something that tells you sexual preference. It's like if you're it's a gay gonna... man... You it's gonna tell you whether or not a man is a hoe. <laughs> uh, yeah, if you're, I mean, if you're a gay man, you don't want to send pictures of your junk to a woman. That's just disgusting. All right. That's just disgusting. Now, what sort of security are you going to implement so that you know I can't just hack some woman's bra? Bra. Uh, <laughs> A titty picture taker and get some free tit pics. Uh, it's going to run Norton. <laughs> it's going to run Norton antivirus. <laughs> it's going to run Norton antivirus. Alright. So you know it's high quality. Yeah. Now I'm trying to figure out how I'm going to make this work. What do you mean? Uh, the thing here. That makes the fucking shit. The, uh... Fuck, I have no copper now. That makes the steel. Oh, I see. Yeah. I was just going with it, and I goofed. Right. It's not impossible to redeem, but I goofed. Hmm. You need to steal, you need to make steel, then you make barrels, and you need to feed the barrels into here. Right, and then the barrels will feed out on another belt. This whole place right here is going to be crowded. Yeah, this whole place is going to be crowded. gonna have to be over here somewhere. Actually no, I didn't goof as bad as I thought I did. Every time I do this I forget how long inserters work. Every single time.
Now I need more iron again. This is just a colossal pain. Hold on, I can give you some. I'll drop some. How do you drop? Is it D? Uh, no. no. F? No. That controls something. G? No. Hold on, let me just check. <laughs> To drop is Z. Z. Alright. Oh shit, how do I drop the entire stack? Uh, try control Z. Uh, shift Z, maybe? Actually, have the whole stack in your have the whole stack in your hand and press Z. I do have the entire stack in my hand. <laughs> Alright, well, let me just suck it up. Oh yeah. All right, I think that's enough for right now. That's where those sick O skills come into play. I can Man. quickly tap to drop items. I mean, honestly, that is very impressive. Is there going to be a, an ass version of your invention? I haven't thought about Someone it yet. Someone wants ass picks. Well, you can't really get a good one of those anyway. Inside your clothes. That's the only problem there. <laughs> is the is the dick pick taker going to flash? Yeah. Every time? <laughs> it's going to flash. <laughs> so, so if you're wearing it backwards... Oh, man. Well, actually, it's a super bright LED. Yeah. See, what it does is it sort of like makes a little cod piece so that it opens up a good area for your, for your flaccid penis. It's just like, let's say you're in, uh, let's say you're at a doctor's office, you're in the waiting room, and this guy is, he is wearing a shorts, and then all of a sudden you see a flash come out from underneath Yeah, the shorts. <laughs> yeah, okay. It's gonna yeah. be like that. That's exactly what it's gonna be like. Alright. I guess the bra one will also flash. Yeah, but that's okay. It's okay. It's more acceptable to have women flash. You just be sitting down somewhere, and then you'll just see like both of her tits flash. Yeah, white underneath her shirt. Okay, where are these uh, crude oil barrels going? I haven't thought about that yet. Uh, I think they're going to go somewhere, somewhere like over here, where they can, where it can be broken down easily, and other materials can be patched in, like batteries and shit. All right. So, does it sound better now? This invention. With the flash. Would you use the invention now? No, I'm still not going to use it because I still don't, you know, I'll take, take pictures, but. It sounds pretty good. I mean, do you think there's a market for it? I don't know. Have you, have you looked into it? Have you done any projections to see how well it would do? No, I haven't. Done Why are research? we not producing... Producing what? We're not producing any fucking... It's because there's no iron gears getting through. Why are there no iron gears getting well, through? Well, what are you asking? What are we producing? Not producing what? Uh, slow belts. Uh, We're not producing any slow belts. Well, this inserter right here is taking up all the gears. Let me just load balance that. Also, there's just not enough iron in general getting up north now. I need more iron. Iron is 
by far the biggest pain in the ass in this game. Producing more iron now. Send up north. That's good. Somewhere right around here is where we'll have our huge petrochemical plant. Our huge. Our enormous petrochemical plant. Wow, look at all that oil. Now, how much oil does one barrel produce? One barrel? Well, how many goes into it? How much goes into it? 25? It says 25 goes into one barrel. Hey, that's pretty good. 25 oil droplets go into one barrel. What country is this game made in? Do you know? I uh, know. Well, that is a damn shame. I have no idea. Because if we knew, I would know if that was in, like, liters or... What? Because if you don't live in America, you may not know. But we all do know the metric system. Everyone knows how to use it. Everyone knows the conversion rate. Uh, that's 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 not true at all. It is very true. A lot of people don't. Well, a lot of those people aren't people. <laughs> and a lot of people don't actually know the metric system, even though they're supposed to know it. All right, well, let me rephrase that. Everyone is taught the metric system. Everyone is taught the metric system. That's Yeah, that's, that's a better way to put it. Everyone is taught the metric system. From that, like, that does not mean they know it, though. From, like, the first grade, everyone is taught the metric system. We're not researching anything, so... Oh, we're not? No. Nah. I mean, we just need to pick something. Pick something arbitrarily. I'm going to pick engine. That'll allow us to head into trains, cars, stuff like that. Alright. I absolutely hate cars in this game. Yeah, the driving is pretty bad. Of course, this game is still in beta, so we're playing pre-release for some reason. For some reason, they can't just call it release in infinite development like Minecraft. Do you remember that? When they yeah. finally announced they were going into inf dev. It just depends on what the developers... Um plan is for like I forgot what I was saying because this game already has an end game which is launch the rocket yep. like Minecraft didn't have an end game and then once they created the ender dragon they released it they quote unquote released it I don't know when this game will be officially released. Never. It will never be officially released. Whenever, it's good like it is. whenever the developer feels like it, I guess. When he feels like it's done. Well, they do have a lot of problems to sort out before it will actually be done. Engine's done. I'm going to go into railway. Alright. Now 
Oh, do you see me just making a mess of everything? Now I'm looking through the stuff we can craft. What exactly is a small pump for? Uh, it's for moving things along a really large pipeline. It's really long. Okay. See, we're uh, we're negating the need for that. The uh, don't panic. <laughs> I was about to say, what the hell happened to the power? We're negating the need for that by using by using these uh, oil barrels. Okay. Look at that backup. Good God, I love that. I love it. Now I need to go find even more iron. We need to we need to have some kind of iron overflow. Overflow box. And I'm gonna go do that right now. Cause we fucking need it. We fucking need it, mate. We fucking need it. You bloody hell fucking need it, mate. Bloody fucking hell, mate. That's how they all talk in the UK, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, it is. Every single person in the UK talks like that. <laughs> From Northern Ireland to the Pas de Calais. Well, not the Pas de Calais. Calais in France. What? <laughs> what's that part of... What's the part of the UK that's across from Calais? Um... I want to call it, like, Kent. But I know it's not Kent. Uh, Here, I'm going to Google it. I don't remember. I'm about to Google. I don't remember. The town in England across, I just misspelled across, from Calais. Dover, I think. Dover? Yeah. It's a Dover Strait. Yeah, I think. Yeah, it's Calais. All right, fuck. It's Dover. Dover. Which is across from Calais. Yeah. Dover is across from Calais. So from Northern Ireland... I don't know what's at the tip of Northern Ireland. A pot of gold! <laughs> <laughs> From IRA land to Dover, everyone just says constantly, You fucking what, Mike? And that's the UK. Yep. What, is, what a glorious what is, land. Uh, what's France like? Oui, oui. Uh, baguette. Oh, 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 putain, putain, oh. <laughs> That's, that's France. Shit, my game is like... Your my, game lagging? My computer is exploding right now. Holy shit. I'm not shit. really sure what's happening. Okay, my computer's doing fine. Let's just hope I don't... Let's just hope we don't get booted. Uh, something wanna... is like... Something crazy is like... Chrome is like opening up over and over again on my computer. That's because you downloaded a virus. It actually might be. It might be that virus coming back. Yeah, that's not a good thing to have, a virus on your computer. Yeah, I know. Why, why'd you download it, man? Well, you see... There's just some really good hentai that I had to have. You're just really into that German dungeon porn. Yeah. What are the Germans like? Fuck if I know. <laughs> uh, final solution. That's what all Germans are like. Hello. I don't want to tell factorio. There, there's, there's only two stereotypes for Germans. <laughs> That's a... Nazi or gay. <laughs> <laughs> there's only two. Jesus. Oh. 
Um, okay, well, we are at um, 31. All right. Well, you know, it's that time again. So long, farewell, Avidas and goodbye. It's that time again. Who's that? Uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger, God rest his soul. <laughs> You're right. That is the country of Arnold Schwarzenegger. Actually, I think he's from Romania. Romania or Bulgaria or something like that. All right, but yeah, you've been listening to us so long. Shit.